Brexit. And it was the, 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 the structural issues mm. in, in Britain where far too much of the economy was dominated by the public sector and far too much of the British economy was dominated by antediluvian trade union leaders. And she dealt with all of that. In other words, she had an agenda and uh, she got a lot of it done. You know, and I think none, well, to a degree, Tony Blair had an agenda, uh, at which uh, quite a lot of it he made work, certainly making the Labour Party electable. Mm -hmm. But the worrying thing is we have, and I'm afraid they've been mainly Tories, sunk into a world of politicians where their agenda is either non-existent, as in the case of Theresa May, or it just isn't wide enough based to ha carry long-term conviction. I mean, Boris has an agenda to get out of the EU. But Boris doesn't have an agenda to run an efficient economy. Mm. Boris's agenda is to spend a lot of money he doesn't have and, if necessary, tax people. And I think Margaret Thatcher will be spinning in her grave at the thought that the share of the national wealth consumed by the state is the highest for 70 years. Yes. Why, she will thinking, why did I exist?